In problem set number three, you will be implementing a parallel algorithm for tone mapping. Tone mapping is the process of mapping an image with a wide range of brightness values into an image with a narrow range of brightness values. This is an important operation because the real world has an enormous range of different brightness values. For example, think of this spectrum as the range of brightness values in the real world. On one end of the spectrum, we have a bright sunny day. On the other hand of the spectrum, we have a very dark moonlit night. And it turns out that the bright sunny day is about a million times brighter than the night. Unfortunately, our computer screen can only display a narrow range of brightness values. And think of this spectrum as the range of brightness values that our computer screens can display. So tone mapping is the problem of taking the brightness values that we see in the real world and mapping them down into a tiny range of brightness values that we can display on our computer screens. And this process is tone mapping. And there's a good chance that the camera on your cell phone has a high dynamic range or HDR mode. When you take pictures in HDR mode, then your camera is performing a tone mapping step to arrive at the final image that it shows you. In this problem set, you will be implementing a simple algorithm for tone mapping called histogram equalization. And this factors nicely into parallel map, reduce, scatter, and scan operations. You have been exposed to the map operation in previous homework. So in this homework, you will focus on reduce, scatter, and scan. Recall that a histogram counts the number of occurrences of something in the data set. For example, if we measure the heights of everyone taking this class and compute a histogram of the heights, it may look something like this. The height of each bar in this histogram is a count of how many people's height fall into a particular range. So for example, this bar may represent the range of people whose height is from 170 centimeters to 180 centimeters. And this bar right here may represent people whose height is from 200 centimeters to 210 centimeter. And these people are really tall, by the way. The main idea in this homework is to first compute a histogram of the brightness values in the image. And after that, we will compute a scan of the histogram that we computed in step one using the plus operator. And it turns out that the array resulting from the scan tells us exactly how to remap the brightness values in the original image. And this is just one of the many really interesting applications of scan, and that is why we are going to focus on scan in this particular problem set. In order to figure out the range of brightness values that should go into each column of the histogram, you will need to first compute the minimum brightness in the image and second, compute the maximum brightness in the image. We will provide you with an array of brightness values, but you will need to figure out the minimum and the maximum values using the parallel reduce operation. When computing a histogram in parallel, it is very likely that different threads will try and update the same memory locations at the same time and to correctly handle this parallel data scattering requires special care. For now, we recommend that you use the atomic add function when computing your histogram. Although using atomic add may be a little slow, but it will ensure that multiple threads don't try and update the same memory location concurrently. And in turn, that will ensure the correctness of your histogram computation. Once you get everything working, Feel free to start experimenting and see if you can avoid using a time to add. And if you're interested, we have included a more detailed mathematical formulation of the histogram equalization in the instructor comments. Lastly, I would like to thank Eric Elson of Royal Caliber and Mike Roberts for writing the script and the code to this problem set. Good luck.